what's up everyone welcome back to the channel i hope y'all are doing good today's recipe is going to be shukuya de pule which is pretty much stir fried chicken it's quick easy and delicious all at once so yeah let's get started on this one so we will be using whole chicken for this recipe I already cleaned my chicken, so make sure yours is cleaned as well. The first thing we're going to do is to boil it. I'm going to start seasoning it with some ginger and garlic paste. And uh, the spices, I will have some chicken beyond garlic powder, black pepper, uh, oregano leaves, salt, and the cameron pepper. This is my first time using this spice, the cameron pepper, but let me tell you, this spice is everything. If you haven't tried this yet, be sure to do so, because it's super good. I will slowly stir this well until it's fully combined and allow it to boil. For the Cameroon pepper, this is the one I was referring to. Now that the chicken is cooked, I retrieve them. As for the chicken broth, we're going to set this aside. Of a medium high heat, add a little bit of vegetable oil and then proceed on adding your chicken to fry. Not fry, I mean stir fry it. Halfway through, I added some of the chicken broth, not all at once, you know, gradually, about a cup and half, something like that, but you'll see. And the reason why I added the chicken broth to it is to add some moisture to the chicken, you know, because we want it to be juicy, not dry. Now we're going to add our vegetables, starting with peppers, so sweet mini peppers. I have the three colors. And then the tomatoes. Now the onions. I will keep some of it for later. A little bit more of the chicken broth and stir it well to combine. I will add the soya spice, about two tablespoons of it for now. Mix it well again to combine and uh, saute this for a few more minutes. It's still on medium high heat for the heat setting. At this time, I'm going to add the remaining of the onions. And uh, the habanero pepper for some spiciness, of course. Combine this well and stir fry it for a few more minutes, about five, seven. It's pretty much done here. All I have to do is to adjust my seasoning. And the only thing I added is the chicken beyond this one some of the sea spice and last but not least the cameron pepper as well this is now my go-to seasoning y'all it tastes good smell good oh don't sleep on that go get yours hey voila quick easy and tasty like i said well all ingredients are listed in the description box down below Thank you so much for watching today's recipe. If you enjoyed the content, please give a like, subscribe if you haven't done so, and uh, turn the bell notification to be notified whenever a recipe is uploaded on my channel. I'll see y'all on my next one. Take care.